It started now? Really grand, big question. I grew up on Green Island. I'm French, but Green Island is a French island lost somewhere far away on the other side of the world. It's 12 hours flight. We wanted to bring the idea of trad and to bring the idea of adventure climbing to an island that has, has practically never heard of, of uh, a style like this. The local French Federation who told me, uh, because they're friends, they told me, um, I think there's a wall here, I think you can do something on the island. So James and me, we went before everybody else for one week and we, we've been like walking back and forth everywhere on the island. And the first time we saw that wall, we were like, yeah, that, that works for sure. But we thought it wouldn't be very hard, we thought it would be like mid sevens. It's very important to, to create a route that it's, um, it speaks with our, with our spirit. But at the same time, the route needs to be approachable for the people of the island and for the climbers around the world. We weren't that impressed. I mean, it was really pretty, so we knew it would be a really good moment, but we didn't think it would be what, what, it, what it turned out. Very hard, but as well very technical. The majority of the, of the wall worked with traditional protection, but there were a few sections where Perhaps the gear was not so good, or was difficult to place, or was a little strange. And in those positions, we chose to place bolts. I've never climbed on a basalt multi-pitch route before, and uh, it's, I think for a European point of view, it's very surprising, because it's zero friction, and cracks, and arrets, and balance. That's why we got so surprised, because when you see the feature of the wall, you think if, it's, if it were granite, it would be fine, but there isn't friction. The Isle of Reunion is, is perhaps one of the most culturally diverse um, mixed places I've, I've ever been to. And we wanted the team to really embody the, these principles. So we had, uh, we had Yuji Hiriyama, who actually is also Caroline's climbing hero, her climbing idol from a long time ago. Basically, he's, he's been everywhere, he's done it all. Um, then there was myself. I have lots of trad experience and was the reason Caroline got into trad first. There's uh, Jacopo Larca from, from Italy. He actually has a very similar profile to Caroline in that he got into climbing through sport climbing and competitions and has now started to explore more the mountains, more the big walls and, and starting to adventure more. And finally there is Sam Elias, a climber from the US, who's really specializing in a uh, in uh, ice climbing and, and mixed climbing, a completely different background to the rest of us. And together, somehow, we hoped that it would all that it would all work well. There was an 80 plus in the route, and in fact, the first time it was Jacopo and Sam who bolted it. And when Sam went down, he was like, "I would really like to meet the guy who's going to do this pitch." So <laughs> we we didn't think we would be able to do the pitch. And uh, at the end, Yushi made it, the very last attempt on the very last day of the expedition. The island is tropical, it's covered in jungle, and this is perhaps the biggest problem with, with climbing new routes on the island, is normally you have to do a lot of cleaning to, to make the cliffs possible. We were incredibly fortunate that Zambrotel was, uh, was both completely virgin and, and practically clean from all vegetation. We had a, a bit of loose rock to take from the route, but in, in, it, on the whole it was in it relatively easy, stress-free proposition. Zamorcal is a mixed dish that um, is special of the island, but uh, just like the island, it's got origins from uh, all over the Indian Ocean. It's, uh, it's really an emblematic dish of uh, the, the mixed blood of the island and mixed culture. So I think we had like 10 days of uh, discussion to find the names because Sam is American, Yoshi is Japanese, Jacopo is Italian, and James is English, and I'm French. So the first problem was like, what language for the, for the name of the route? But I think it was really important to, uh, to choose a name who was in Creole language, the language of the island. And uh, Zambokal was, it just turned out to be perfect.